This is a quick demonstration of how to export timesheets from Timekeeper into Zero Payroll. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use an employee named Jack Allen, and I'm going to export his timesheets from the 2nd of May to the 8th of May. To show you that employee in Zero, uh, if I go to Zero and I go to the Payroll Timesheet section, you can see this uh, employee Jack is paid on a weekly basis and he currently doesn't have any data from Sunday the 2nd to Saturday the 8th of May. Uh, what he does have though is timesheet data for that period in Timekeeper. So if I go to Jack Allen and I go 2nd to the 8th of May, I run that timesheet, you'll see he has uh, 28 hours, 30 minutes, total hours worked, and all of that time has been regular hours. So how does this get from Timekeeper into zero? It's really simple. If you go to reports and you scroll down and go to export to zero, firstly, it'll check that your zero connection has been set up successfully. If it hasn't, we'll prompt you to reconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the next step. This step uh, is checking that your employees in Timekeeper map to the correct employees in Zero. If they have the same name or the same email or same phone number, we'll map them automatically. Uh, but you can always change this if the names are different or for any other reason. I'm just gonna go ahead. Jack is already mapped to Jack Al, so I'm just gonna go, go ahead and go to the next step. So the final step before we export is checking that your rates in Timekeeper map to your rates in zero. So in Timekeeper, we have an overtime 1.5 plus time and a half rate, uh, which maps to our zero earning rate called overtime hours. Uh, so you can always select these and change these however you see fit. So this is the actual export step. The previous steps are just configuration if you set them up once, they'll be saved for subsequent exports. The actual export is this step. So if I go to payroll calendar and I select weekly, uh, and I'll select the date range the 2nd of May to the 8th of May, uh, it'll say that employee time sheets to be exported is Jack Allen. Uh, it'll also prompt you whether you want to include any paid leave time in the a transfer of the export from Timekeeper to zero. By default, it's off, but you can click that on. So I'm gonna go ahead and press export to zero. I'm gonna confirm that I want to export. Now Timekeeper is exporting uh, to zero and it's now complete. Uh, so it will go through each employee that's been mapped in the previous screens. Uh, for the purpose of th this demo, it's only been Jack. So it says Timekeeper has synced 28 hours, 30 minutes to zero. And to check that that has been successfully received in zero, I'm gonna go back in here, I'm gonna refresh the page. And I will go to weekly employees and look at Jack's entry for the 2nd to the 8th of May. And you'll see that his timesheet 28 hours, 30 minutes has been taken from Timekeeper and submitted into zero. It'll also break down the hours spent per day. And that's it. It's really simple. Uh, four simple steps to exporting timesheet data from Timekeeper into zero payroll.